seeing the work that you're doing, yes, for a lot of people, it does become, your senses become so heightened that it does appear that you can see these things in the physical realm. I want to talk to you guys real quick about the difference between seeing and seeing. Like when we talk about seeing, what are we talking about? Whoa, you, you think that I should be able to see magic in my hand? Do you think I should be able to see people's auras? You say that I can see my spirit guides. You say that I can see whole worlds around me. Um, but I just see like what color socks I'm wearing and my breakfast in its physical bowl. And I see my circumstances and I see my family and my apartment and my dirty floor. Like, what are you talking about? Like, should I be able to see magic the way I see my dirty floor? <laughs> my floor is dirty right now, so. <laughs> yes and no. Some people are not visual. And, and I, I mean that, like, not eyes. Like, we're not necessarily talking about what your eyes can do. This is a spiritual seeing. It's a knowing. You could experience your magic through a myriad of physical senses. You could feel something or just know something and not see it with your physical eyes and it would still be correct for you. You might hear things or smell things or need to work with touch. Like These are all senses that affect us all differently. Some of them are sharper for some of us and some of us have multiple of these senses that we work out of. But the important thing to remember is that your physical senses mirror your energetic senses. So when we're talking about seeing or feeling or hearing something, it could be like, oh, I heard that out loud or, oh, I saw that pass in front of my eyes. But it could also not be that specifically. It could be like, you kind of think you hear something in the back of your mind and that is you being clairaudient or you see the shadow of something or you see something in your mind and sometimes it looks like an overlay over the world in front of you but sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it's something that you sort of imagine and you think that's your imagination but it's not your imagination. So when I'm talking about like seeing yourself or seeing your magic or seeing auras or seeing the work that you're doing yes for a lot of people it does become your senses become so heightened that it does appear that you can see these things in the physical realm but there is nothing wrong if you're not and i guess that's the point that i'm trying to get to you today is that just because you can't necessarily see the energy you're working with the same way that you can see your toes in front of you does not mean that the energy is not working or doing exactly what you intend for it to do. It's like when I read a book, it's um, I'm a very visual person. And so when I read a book, it's kind of like there's a movie playing out in my head. I don't see that in front of me on the page because I'm reading the words, but it is playing in my mind and I can kind of watch it while I'm reading the words. A lot of people don't interact with books that way. So I guess what I'm trying to get across to you guys is that we're all different. <laughs> Everybody has to start somewhere, right? You might start not really feeling or seeing or hearing anything, or you might just feel a little bit. But the important thing is to trust yourself when you do. If you're like, God, Amy, you keep saying that I should be able to see the energy in my hands, but the craziest thing is when I get into meditation, I just, I kind of hear this song in my head. Like, that's perfect. That's amazing. Go with that. Because I'm giving you sort of the basics where I started and what got me going. And I'm hoping that you can take this information and use it as a jumping off point. I am not in any way trying to tell you how to manage your your craft or your spiritual practice <laughs> i'm just here for guidance so i hope i hope that helped let me know in the comments down below how 
how you usually sense your magic. Which senses do you use? And is it like it is physical or is it more in your um, inner being or is it a little bit of both? Um, I would love to hear about it. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that little bell icon. Give my video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really does help a lot. And I will see you guys on the other side.